Hey everyone, Chris Kent here. I decided to do this as a video blog rather than a written blog because I felt it was more important and I could get my words across better or better understanding. Um, this subject deals with plagiarism, okay? And there's a book that's come out recently, this book, which again, I know the author, James Bishop. He's a great writer. This is an awesome book. I think it's very well done. I think it's, it's, it is a great book. Um, what I take issue with is the subject of when so many people, keyboard warriors, armchair generals, so-called experts, all jumped on the bandwagon and started listing Bruce Lee as a plagiarist and that everything he did was merely plagiarism. Uh, again, the, the definition of plagiarism is the practice of taking someone else's work and passing it off as your own. And they like to attribute this to the Tao of Jeet Kune Do. So that is the subject that I want to address. Why do I want to address it? Because I was there at the time. I was there at the time. It was developed, it was written, and it was published. So let me start with a couple of things. One. When the Tao was going to be written, and Gilbert Johnson was chosen as the writer for it, Dan Asanto, my teacher, invited to Gil to become a part of the senior JKD class so that he could get a better understanding of Jeet Kune Do from when he was writing the book. Again, this book was created by Black Belt Magazine with the approval of Linda Lee Cadwell, Linda Lee at the time. So Gil came into the class and we became good friends. And I went up to his apartment in West Hollywood and trained a number of times. We got together over, over a period of time. And like I said, we became good friends. I also went out to Black Belt Magazine because at the time I wasn't working. So I would go out to the magazine and hang out with Gil while he was putting the book together. And sometimes he would have notes spread all over the floor, Bruce's notes. And he would even ask me questions sometimes about, Chris, what do you think? Is this more about timing or speed or rhythm? And, and I'd give him my opinions on them. So I spent a lot of time seeing this book develop. Okay, and then eventually it was published. The thing that people need to understand is that the notes that became the Tao of Jeet Kune Do were Bruce's own personal notes. He didn't write them with the sake of having them published. Maybe one time he did, but he didn't. The Tao did not come out until five years after Bruce Lee had passed away. Okay? So all of these notes were done at a time when there were no computers. There were no Xerox machines on every corner. There was no fax machines, no copy machines. And he wrote the material for himself. A lot of it done during the time when he sustained his back injury and was bedridden, okay? So what does he do? He reads a book on boxing from his collection and he finds something that he thinks has truth or, or fits in with what he was doing. He writes it down on paper, okay? Again, they were for himself, not for the general public. Myself, I keep notebooks like this. If I'm reading a book and I find something of interest, I write it down. Now, by the same token, if somebody, if I passed away and somebody took all of my notes that I'd written down, suddenly published them in a book, uh, you know, and attributed them to me, the public would go, hmm, that's not really so. That is the point I'd like to make with regards to this. That the notes were written by Bruce for himself. The fact that when it went into publishing, as Linda and I discussed, once it was turned over to Black Belt, it became their baby. She really didn't have anything to do with it at the time, okay? So, again, my point here is this. Bruce Lee did not plagiarize because he did not take somebody else's material and attempt to pass it off as his own. He simply wrote material that he felt had use in what he was doing. So, as I said, James' book is great. It is a fantastic book. He's done an immense amount of work. What I'm doing, when I'm approaching are the people on social media, 
the, you know, the court of social opinion. They love to just jump on things and toss words around when they really don't understand the meaning of the terms. Okay? So, as I said, the Tao of Jeet Kune Do, Bruce Lee didn't write it. Bruce Lee never claimed this was his material. Even the publishers did not claim that this was Bruce Lee's material. They just didn't identify the sources because they didn't know them at the time. So that's my take on it. As I said, they were notes written by an individual for that individual. And that's it. 